Well, hey there, everybody. I'm just out at the uh, mountain today, and I found this big stump. It's like a tabletop, and it uh, should work out perfect. I wanted to bring out this uh, old vintage cold steel trail master in carbon V. I've done a recent review of it. And I just wanted to do a little chopping, some feather sticks, and test it out. And I thought this would be like the perfect place to do it. And I found this stump. So hopefully that'll work out for demonstration purposes here. Yeah, check that out. It's just, uh, I wish I kind of had a better angle for the camera. But I'm trying to work with what I have here, so... Hopefully it'll all pan out. And uh, first I gotta find some wood to baton in the first place here, so I'll do that now. All right, got a piece of wood here. Some old kiln dried wood, believe it or not. And I got this uh, stick I found out here. But here is the knife. Let's do a little chopping, just see what it does. Let's make sure this is in focus. Get okay, ready. This is some old dry wood. Right now, I'm not really trying to make anything. I'm just feeling the blade out, seeing how it uh, like feels chopping in the wood. Not too bad. I'm just lightly hanging on to it, and it's doing great. Even though this piece of wood's a little too twisty to, to be like a legit steak. Like it'll make a, a tent steak pretty good. Yeah. Just peeling it out here. That's some good, good notching. This thing is never in focus. And not too shabby. Got a piece of fat wood here I brought with me. Just to see if, uh, how it feathers. I like fat wood for feathering just because it usually has some sharp edges on it so you can keep twisting it side to side and get some pretty easy feathers. Plus they catch a spark from a ferro rod really well. Yeah, I'm liking it. A few of them have have fallen off here but for the most part not bad at all oh, that's showing up super good that will definitely catch a spark so it does good with that do a little bit of light batoning with just my hand 
That works fine. Yeah, really good as far as that goes. Okay, I don't expect a miracle from this test because this wood is just so hard from being kiln dried. But I was just going to do a downward chop on it and see exactly what happens. So let's do that now. I don't want to hit a stone that I have up here. Wow. Look at that. I was not expecting that. And that's some like gnarly kind of twisted wood. It just blew right through it. Look at that freaking knot that was in there. Yeah, that's really surprising. I'd like to chop it this way if possible. Yep. Could make some quick, quick work with this. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And you could make a few piles of uh, feathers. Yep. That's actually really, really good knife. I'm liking that. And let's do this real quick. This is just fat wood again, but Sometimes I like to split it that way, where you just stab it in and split it to get those little, those little sticks that you want. Yep, not bad at all. I love how much resin there is in this fat wood takes a spark so quick you can get these little micro feathers too using little pieces like this once you get the angle of your knife just right Look at that, those little mini feathers. These things take a spark so good. Yeah, this is the first Trail Master that I've ever owned from Cold Steel. And I was blessed enough to get the Carbon V one, which I think is really a keeper. Seems like a great knife. I'm really happy with this one. Look at that. Just blast through this stuff. If I get this to stand up. This will be cross grain if I go this way. So, I mean, what the heck? Let's see what it does. It blew right through it. No issues at all. Well, the one issue is it likes to launch the wood five feet away each time but still not bad not bad at all yeah, that's not gonna happen with that one just trying to do it by hand don't really have much of a baton here <laughs> as you can see that didn't work too well there we go that's all I needed yep perfect not shabby at all. Really nice. Get little pieces to come off like that. This is a keeper for sure. Oh. 
So there you have it. A little quick test of the Carbon V Cold Steel Trail Master. That's actually pretty decent. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.